very difficult game. Um, all because you know you have two very evenly matched teams who you know, know each other extremely well and you know are able to counter it. If you like, everybody deals with strengths, you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a very positive way, I suppose, really. And of course, that generates a, a tremendous game. Then but I think we were the better side. I think you know we, we probably could have had a couple more scores on the board. Uh, you know, when we were five up, I think we should have gone six, and we coughed up a chance. And that opened the gap. Then they, they went down the field. They got it to four. Then they went to three. That six-point gap disappeared literally in the space of thirty seconds. So, just a few moments that were very significant in keeping the game together and keeping it tight right to the very end. But it, I just probably would be particularly pleased with the impact that we got off the bench. I think the lads really came into a very frenetic, difficult game. Probably the most difficult game I've ever seen lads have to try and get into. And I think they coped with it really well. And Cahill and Adam in particular, you know, given the circumstances around the death of his uncle yesterday and having to come and participate today and do what he did, uh, you know, for a young player. Uh, I thought that was an incredible achievement for a young player in a Munster final and in an occasion like today. It just shows you the caliber of the individual that he is. And John, going, delighted for him. Going the direct route, guy, okay, buys you some time now to replenish energy. Is that important for you? Well, it's a great opportunity, yeah. you know. We're the first team to qualify for the semi-finals, and yeah. that's the facts of the matter. Um, we managed four weeks last year, and we've done it in the past. We know our routine, it's nailed down, everybody knows what to expect in that dressing room before I go in and say it. They know exactly what's going to happen this week, the week after, and the week after that, and the subsequent week. So we know our routine, we're a team that works really according to our routines, and uh, it's not an issue for us. Yes, it's an opportunity for us to recharge. It's an opportunity for a few guys to get a few little bits and pieces, you know, together uh, in terms of their own preparation individually, in terms of fitness levels, injuries, knocks and bumps and lumps, and just to just take a break. You know, it's been a really tough Munster Championship. Um, every team brought their absolute best performance against us every day we went out. And, you know, I think we've shown an amazing level of resilience uh, and hunger and appetite that was questioned uh, is most certainly is, is still there. John, the never, lose, never, never losing a final in your time, uh, playing at home, were they edges for you coming into this game? So we don't, you don't think about them to be honest, you, you know, you're, you're just so focused on the game and on your preparation and the team and selecting the subs and you know, just your, your, your work really, you know, everybody's just focused on the here and now. Um, you know, the five obviously was, you know, something that is there, you know, you can't hide from it, like, it's, it's reality. But, you know, as I said this morning, leaving home, I'm so proud of the four we have, you know. Uh, I've not, there's nothing to be ashamed of having one four. If it was to be the case that we had four in a row at the end of the day, was that anything to be ashamed of? Absolutely not. Um, but, you know, 